Hey everyone, I'm Danny and welcome to Wizardry Workshop. In this video, we're going to do Easy Harry Potter Printables, Volume 9. I can't believe I have like eight other volumes of this with just a ton of random Harry Potter printables for like parties and stuff. So if you want to see those, go ahead and check out the older videos. I will probably link them in the description or you can just search my YouTube channel and you can find them pretty easily. If you're new here, consider subscribing. I do a whole bunch of Harry Potter DIY projects and all of the like movie replicas and stuff that I create are absolutely free to download and make yourself as long as it's just for your own personal use. That means no selling it. That's not okay. Check out the description box below for a list of all the supplies you're gonna need to make this DIY, which is pretty simple, mostly just paper. Let's get into it. The first thing we're going to make is this awesome map of Hogwarts. I will mention that everything in this video is not just a scan or anything that I did like that. Everything I recreated from the ground up with a blank page. So this is printed 11 by 17. I also have an 8.5 by 11 version, which is just smaller, but it's the same thing. And it is printed double-sided. You can see I did include, it looks kind of like it's bleeding through the page. It's not really, obviously. We want to trim off the white. The way I like to do it is the same way that I did for the Quidditch campsite map. I have a DIY for that as well. And basically what we do is we're gonna fold it where we want those cuts to be. So like right where the actual print starts, I'm just gonna put a fold in here. There we go. And then I'm gonna flip it over and fold it this way as well. Once your crease is, is nice and, and flexible, I guess, with it folded, get like a really damp like sponge or rag or something and just run it across the fold. Um, you don't want to saturate the paper so it just needs to be kind of damp. You can also use your tongue and lick it if you want if you don't mind doing that. It's I mean it works. It should tear pretty easily. Just kind of go from both sides and it's not going to look perfect. You don't want it to. That's what this is all about really. The reason I did it like that is if you take a look at that edge, it looks like kind of like a torn parchment or something. It gives it a really cool effect. And yeah, that's just what I like to do for this in particular print. And when we're all done, we have this kind of torn out print of the Hogwarts map. You'll have imperfections in it here. I mean, you can see them, but that's okay. That's what we're going for. Kind of a realistic look. Next up, we have the Leaky Cauldron menu uh, room service menu and it just has a bunch of stuff that they do here so this is also 11 by 17 there's a, everything I have an 8.5 by 11 version of though so don't worry about that the back also has kind of like a bleed through effect on it like that same kind of idea however for this one I'm going to use my paper cutter to cut this out And I'll cut out the Leaky Cauldron service, uh, room services menu should look like this. Next up, we have this sign that was up in, I think it was in the Hogshead Inn, I want to say. Um, I don't think it was the three broomsticks. I think it was Hogshead Inn. But anyways, it is a sign that lets the customers know that the sale of unicorn blood is forbidden. And it also has a little bit of a bleed through on the back. As you can see, it's 11 by 17 is the version that I printed. And again, we just want to cut the white space off with a paper cutter. And after trimming the white space off, here we go. And next we have Luna Lovegood's lost items uh, sign or flyer that she made when people were taking her things because they're mean. So we're going to cut this one out too, same way. So it should trim down to look a little bit like this. And next we have the Weasley's Wizard Weezes bedding slips. Um, so this goes all the way from zero to seven here. As you can see, it is double sided. And this one is on eight and a half by 11 paper. And again, we're just going to trim off all the white. And so when you're done, you should have these Weasley's bedding slips. I just realized that I printed mine wrong. Um, the backs are actually upside down, so I'm going to reprint these, but this is what they should look like. Put 
Next up, we have something really funny. This is a note to McGonagall from Dolores Umbridge, and it's written out on her personal, like, little kitten stationery here. <laughs> um, it is also double-sided. And there are two ways to do this, uh, actually three ways to do this. Um, I've included a square file, which you can just cut out like we have been doing. I also included a file that has the shape that the movie prop actually is in, which is kind of like a little torn pattern shape. So if you want to meticulously cut that out, you can. I don't know why, but I, I, I don't think anyone will, but I included it anyway. <laughs> if you have a Cricut, that's the way I did it. Um, you just print the one that, the file that says Cricut, and then you use the cut guide that I'm including to cut it out with your Cricut. And once this thing comes, is, is finished in your Cricut, you can just sort of peel off the border from around it. And as you can see, it just cut the thing out perfectly. So there it is with that perfect uh, shape cut from around it. So this is the exact same shape as the movie, basically. I used uh, pictures from like the Warner Brothers Studio Tour and stuff like that where this movie prop is on display. And this is exactly what the shape that it looked like it was. Now, if you don't have a Cricut, I do have an option for you to get something somewhat similar to this. I have these craft scissors that cut this pattern that almost looks kind of like that same sort of torn. It's not torn, it is an actual pattern, but it looks very similar. And it would be, you know, pretty simple to just cut this out with these scissors. It's not perfect, but it is similar. The one in the back I used those scissors on and the one in the front I used my Cricut on. So you can see the similarities there. Now, we just have one more thing to do, and it is these circles. And these are actually kind of like stickers to go on top of like jar lids that you put candy in. In the Harry Potter films, these were seen in Honeydukes on the candy jars. I really wanted to print these on sticker paper, and I realized I was totally out of sticker paper. So this is just plain paper, and I'm going to glue it onto lids. And I'm also just going to use scissors to cut this out because it's just four circles and that's all I'm doing. If you really wanted to, you could create a really quick, easy four circles cut guide on Cricut Design Space. Use that to cut it out if you really want to, but I feel like that's just way too much work for just these four circles. So this is what I'm going to do. Is it perfect? No. So I have four labels for my lids and I also got four different kinds of candy here that I just got for this purpose. And yes, they're all opened, because yes, I ate some. But we are going to kind of make some Honeydukes jars right here. I know this part isn't printable, but it includes my printables, so that's what we're doing. If you did it on sticker paper, just stick them on. Otherwise, I'm going to glue them. So now we've got the label on the jar. <laughs> of course, all we have to do next is fill it with some candy. I've never seen these before. They are... Sour Crunchy Crawlers. They're like candy-coated gummy worms. I mean, come on, that's awesome. So there we go, there's one of our candy jars. And when we have them all filled, we've got this colorful candy inside, and then the cool kind of magical symbol-looking tops from Honeydukes. And those are not every flavor beans. <laughs> They're just uh, jelly beans, because I don't want to eat grass shavings or earwax. That is everything in this printables video. Let me know what you guys thought of these things. I think a lot of these turned out to be really cool things that you could use for like party favors at your Halloween party or something. Let me know what you guys thought in the comment section below. And as I said, this is printables volume nine. So once I do volume 10, I don't think I'm gonna do any more just like random printable videos. I think 10 is a nice even number. So the random printables will stop at volume 10. But then after that, I will have easy printables but I think I want to theme them. So like one of them could be like easy Hogsmeade or printables or something like that. And it would be just like posters from Hogsmeade or something or easy Quidditch printables. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.